the biggest telephone company of the world will start mining Bitcoin. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, again, five amazing Bitcoin charts talking about the news, and it's awesome news. Also giving you a crypto tip because some project is going to give a shitload of money to one of the winners, answering the question of one of the followers, and of course, ending it all with a beautiful, inspirational quote. Let's quickly jump into the news to see what is happening in this industry and how that will influence the charts after that, guys. And yes, as you can see, the eye is almost over. Uh, yeah, it's gone, so I can do these videos again without sunglasses. Uh, guys, the news for today. Deutsche Telekom just announced they have been running a Bitcoin node already since 2023, also were a validator for certain projects and now they announce in Prague hey guys we are gonna go into the mining industry for Bitcoin so they are gonna start mining Bitcoin they are already investigating it for over a year now through nodes and through the nodes for the lightning network they also were one of the 100 validators for the polygon network and they are looking to get more involved in this web 3 industry guys so yes Deutsche Telekom one of the bigger bigger telephone companies in the world is already involved in crypto and web 3 running a Bitcoin node and running a Bitcoin lightning network node guys at the same time as also announcing they are gonna mine Bitcoin this is huge news when more and more of these huge companies said they got involved in mining Bitcoin then believe me the thing that I have been telling you all the time there will be a moment that we will be able to mine Bitcoin with the smallest of the smallest machines guys and maybe those smallest machines will even be mobile phones in the future but when Deutsche Telekom gets involved I do think there's a plan behind that. It's not just mining Bitcoin. They have a way bigger plan in my opinion. I think they want to decentralize Bitcoin even more by making it maybe possible in the future to be running nodes or mining Bitcoins with a simple device as an iPhone. A very small box that you can order at your home together with your internet services because they also provide internet and everything at people's homes, maybe in that same box. You know that router that gives you access to the internet, maybe. At the same time, you would be running a Bitcoin node or you would be mining Bitcoins. Who knows where it will go, but Deutsche Telekom is very big and very powerful. So I believe it's very positive for this industry. Let's jump into the charts. So the first chart for the day, guys, is this four hour chart, of course, with the indicator setup. Now, let's see, where are we? We were in a long or a buy or a, or over here. And the wick down here went all the way to the lowest point over there of 65,030. Uh, that's the massive area of support. That is what we see because this red area, that indication of a huge support area, uh, the blue one over there in the top, that's of course a lot of resistance. So we need to see what Bitcoin will do because the resistance first that we need to break is 67,000 US dollar. That one we need to break first. And if we break that one, then there is another huge resistance around 69,000 US dollar. And then again around 71,000 US dollar. But at the moment, it is important that we break this first resistance of 66K that we come above that again. Because if we don't do that, guys, we might fall even deeper. And to which levels would we fall then? Then if we zoom out, let's see where the support is then. Then we can see the support all the way here to 60K lows over there guys of course this line over here let me draw this line and the horizontal ray you can see here there's a lot of candles touching it over there this area of course is also a massive area of support uh, which is around that 64k level but that is what we need to keep an eye on if we break this support over here and you can see that the support is over here now because of all those wicks here support over there support over there support over there support over there we are holding a support but if you break it, you fall to the next level of support, which is around that 64K. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out to the daily chart. On this daily chart, you see the same support that I drew last time already. Let me see the yellow line over there. I told you guys, that is the line we need to keep holding. And look what is happening with all these candles. They are exactly holding that line. That is the line of support. We are Why? Look to the left. This was a very important area over here to break. It took us one, two, three, four days to break it. Here again, it became supportish, and then and again, it came above, supportish, above. Here we broke it again, resistance, resistance, 
resistance, support, support, support. So this level of 66k is an important level and we need to try to stay above it to stay bullish. We can see that MACD is decreasing a little bit in rednesses so that we will become a little bit more green hopefully very soon. Uh, the RSI did bottom almost out, is coming up again. So hopefully this large red wick over there and this wick will push the market again um, higher towards the 70k levels and then we had this as support which again is building a beautiful structure for Bitcoin for the future that will become a massive support area in the far future guys. I have some other interesting charts. The first one is this one. This one is also showing us again the heat map of liquidations where the liquidations will happen. And we can see that, that area of support, that next area of support, 65k, a lot of liquidations will happen. So that often is an area that we might visit. It could be with a wick, it could be with one four hour candle, but we need to liquidate the people over there to get more a healthy market. That's how it just works. After that, again here above, 67, 68k, also a lot of liquidation. So it could be a sharp move to the bottom, bam, bouncing up again to those levels and supporting all those people and keeping, you know, the market healthy. That's what happens. It's just too many people taking too many risks with too high leverage trades and, you know, they will be liquidated every time again and again because they are just too risky. And the bears and the bulls, they see this and they want to have that liquidity. They want to make some profits. So they are on the hunt for those liquidations. Now, a very important chart is the Bitcoin price after halvings. At the moment, we have a purple, a blue and a green line. These are, of course, the 2012, 2016 and 2020 bull market. That black line is the 2024 now. Now, we are at the moment 57 days after the halving. We are around 66,000 US dollars. If you would have been scaling the 2012 uh, move to 57 days after the halving, we should have been now at 87,000 US dollars. If you would have scaled to the 2016 move, we would now be around 59,000 US dollars. Because in 2016, we dipped a little bit further after the halving. So now we would be even lower. If you scale to the 2020 move, we should have been now around 70,000 US dollars. So we are exactly in between. We are in between 2016 and 2020. So that's not bad. It's not strange. If you would dip even more, yeah, that is possible. But we would still stay above that 59K. It would still be normal. It would still scale like 2016 or 20. And then let's see how we scale further. But the thing that I see on this chart, and I hope that you all agree with me, is something very simple. In the beginning, after the halving, there is a lot of sideways movement. Now that purple line, bam, that went up massively after 50 days. The blue line, that took 150 days before it went massively up after the halving. And that green line also took almost 150 days there before going into that ultimate massive bull run. 150 days after the halving, guys, that is five months. If you count five months from April, you get to May, June, July, August, September. So it could take all the way till after summer, till September, because summer is often boring, before we start running with that Bitcoin price again into a new all-time high. And the top could be like here in 2016, 550 days after the halving. So that's like more than a year. That's like almost one half year. That would be September 2025-ish. Or maybe it could even take longer than that. But normally, on average, the tops are around 550 to 600 days after the halving. And the halving was in April 2024. Do your calculations. The new top will be in 2025, just like I've been telling you already from the beginning of this year. I know a lot of you were bullish. And I know a lot of you told me that I was crazy, that I was saying it was in 2025. A lot of you said, nah, it's going to be 2024. I told you, never, ever, ever. It's going to be in 2025. We are just on track. This is completely normal. And it can take another 100 days, three months, before we really start running. Be patient. Dollar cost average around these levels. Don't let the strong hands kick you out of this industry with your weak hands. Dollar cost average. This run will be coming. And I know you are doubting, but if you zoom out, at the bigger picture, you see what is going to happen. 
And if you are selling now, you will be selling to the people that will be taking share of the profits over there. It's very simple. The realized price is short to long term. Now we can see three lines on this chart. We can see the realized price, which has a dotted yellow line. The realized price cost basis, long term holders, it's the green dotted line. And we have the Bitcoin price, it's the black line. And the blue line on the chart that is the realized price three to six months. We kept support on the yellow dotted line at the moment. You know, and we should be keeping support at that uh, dotted line. The dotted line is at the moment 62,400 US dollar. There's a level of ultimate support at the moment. If you would break that level of 62,400 US dollar, which is the realized price cost basis, short term holders, if that breaks, then we could go and fall to the blue line. And the blue line is the realized price two to six months, which is 55,500 US dollar. I would still not be in shock if we fall to that level. I would be accumulating more and more and more. Why? Because I believe that Bitcoin will go above 100k, so I will be doubling my capital in this area. Now this green line, the realized price, we will never go to that anymore before the next bear market. And that bear market at the moment would be then higher than 24,000 US dollar, because it's the cost basis 24,300 US dollar. Now this green line is going to increase very soon when the price will increase. Just like you saw over here, that you get this green line going uh, up like bam. And that is after, you know, that bull market top uh, was there and then it will create a new bear market bottom area over there. You can see we go below it, but not too far. Over there we go below it, but not too far. So this is going to be a very important line in the future. But at the moment, these two lines over there, the realized price, cost basis, short term holders, and the realized price three to six months. These two are now important. I believe that this dotted yellow line will keep support. Just like it did over here, look in this 2020 bull market, support, support, everywhere we came close, it was always support until we broke it. And that was also kind of the start of the bear market. It became resistance. So yellow dotted line, realized price, cost basis is important. Another chart that I found on Twitter, the bear market, is when these two lines are very wide from each other. These uh, lines on the bottom, you can see the Bitcoin supply and loss uh, and the Bitcoin supply and profit. When there is a huge distance, that is the bear market. When they are very close to each other, that is exactly the bull market. We can see this is exactly the bull market. So bear market, again here. Again, this huge dip, Cobra dip. They are like really far away from each other. And then they come close to each other over here. Let me do it like this. And that's the yeah, bull market. Bear market. There's a huge distance between those two. And at the moment, we are coming close to each other. So we are, of course, as we know, in the bull market. This bull market is going to take till the year 2025. These over here are going to stay close. And it will create a massive bull market. It will go to highs above 100,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. Very simple chart. But very interesting to see that the moment a lot of people are in loss and not too many are in profit, that's of course, that of course the bear market. And when the people and loss and in profit are almost equal, that's of course the bull market. Simple chart, but effective. And also here we can see the Bitcoin realized price, guys. And then we come to this chart, guys. This chart uh, shows you the coins days destroyed, CDD, that's the red line, and the Bitcoin price. Uh, it kind of tells us that over here, the wills were selling their Bitcoin. The wills were selling their Bitcoin. Here, the wills again also sold their Bitcoin. I think it's also almost 50,000 Bitcoins collectively that they have been selling, which is a strange moment because normally they sell only near the top or just before the top. Now they sold already here, probably because also the spot ETFs are now calculated to wills. And we saw in my last video that already a lot of spot ETFs were selling their Bitcoins as well at the moment. So that could lead to these peaks now and then. Let's see how this will continue. Uh, but one thing that you can see on the chart is that, of course, in 2016, there was a lot of moments the wills sold, but also bought back, sold and bought back, sold and bought back because there were a lot of peaks. 2020 bull market was a little bit different. If you look at the structure, this could look again, I think, like the 2017 bull market. So let's see 
how this will um, evolve. And of course, it's not the best thing to compare because, you know, there is more and more Bitcoins on the market every day. There is more and more wills every day. So, you know, this is not the best, best chart to be analyzing, but at least we saw again some wills selling their Bitcoins. This is a distribution for the ones that are thinking now, who are the wills? Now, at the moment, 17.6% of the Bitcoins are lost. They are telling us this. They didn't move. That doesn't mean, in my opinion, they're lost because I think a lot of people just are true others and they probably have still a few of those Bitcoins. The miners have like 3.4% at the moment. Satoshi's wallet is 5.2% at the moment. Uh, these 6% yet need to be mined still. Then we have 27 owned by the governments, 3.9% Bitcoin percent by the Bitcoin spot ETFs, and 3.6% by the corporations, and 57% is still by the OGs or the hodlers or you and me. The normal people hold still above 50% of all these Bitcoins, which is very positive. But we need to keep it this way. This bottom part, is 57, needs to become bigger and bigger and bigger. Because if we let these two over there become bigger and bigger and bigger, then we are giving away our Bitcoins, our precious freedom revolution Bitcoins, to the corporations, the spot ETS and the governments. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that more people buy these Bitcoins. So you need to make sure that more people start to watch my videos because then they understand they need to buy Bitcoins instead of having, for example, the governments or the spot ETFs buy all these Bitcoins and the corporations. And yes, I know the spot ETFs are probably also people like you and me that hold their Bitcoin at a spot ETF. But still, I prefer them to hold Bitcoin in a self-custodial hardware wallet. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, short term, a lot of people are afraid that we might fall to 64, 62, 61. I even read some tweets and posts that people believe that Bitcoin will go to 48K. Now, my opinion is that the 65K at the moment still is the level of support. I just look at the charts. As long as we keep support over here, Bitcoin is fine. The moment we break these levels of support, yes, we can go and look to the next levels of support. And yes, they are around 62K and 60K. I don't see us falling all the way back to 48K. If we would fall to those levels, I'm gonna search every penny on the street to be able to invest more in Bitcoin at those levels, guys. I do think that that 64, 65K level is at the moment a huge area of support. And I do think we will be able to bounce from here. As we saw on all the charts, all of the charts on the weekly, on the daily, they're all looking very bullish. So there needs to be a bullish bam now all the way up to 70 and 80K again. And all those targets of the inverse head and shoulders of the wedges, all of those targets are around 80 to 90K. So normally we should break out to these levels. But I feel this is like this last moment of shaking out those weak hands. I know we are going to crash, sell your Bitcoins to these huge corporations and they will take all the profits again. But that's my opinion. But who am I, guys? In the long term, of course, it's very simple. We are going to go higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. Every four-year cycle, a higher high and a higher low. That's how simple it is. You zoom out in Bitcoin. You look at that bigger picture and you understand that Bitcoin will make a new all-time high every four years. And if you understand that, then you do know that you're protecting your capital against inflation as long as you stay in Bitcoin. That is why you need to use Bitcoin as a store of value that you can use as a peer-to-peer -peer cash, but it's going to protect you for your whole life against the inflation that's being created by governments and other centralized entities that are printing shitloads of money out of thin air. It's simple as that. See, Bitcoin has something bigger than euros and dollars. That's nothing. That's like fake air fiat currencies, shit coins we call them. See Bitcoin as that new world reserve currency in the long term. See Bitcoin as your store of value, the digital gold of the 21st century. See Bitcoin as your peer-to-peer -peer cash. You will be able to take anywhere in the world, use anywhere in the world the way you want it without all those centralized entities ever being able to freeze it. See Bitcoin as something bigger. Start to believe in Bitcoin. And the moment you start to believe in Bitcoin, you will start to dollar cost average into Bitcoin and hold your full capital in Bitcoin instead of all those shit coins like Euro and Dollar. Now, let's jump into the next part. The crypto tip for today again is Ether Games. 
Ether gains, I've been talking about them already for a couple of months, guys. I think it's a huge, huge opportunity here because now they launched their new Awakening Quest campaign. And in this campaign, you can win up to 15,000 US dollar, but you can also win all those free NFTs. So it's a very, very, very good opportunity for you to get involved in Ether games this way. So go to ethergames.io slash quest to see exactly what you need to do to be able to win those 15,000 US dollar or to win one of those NFTs, guys. So yes, Ether Games, for me, a big player in this gaming industry. It's already up and running. It's already doing quests. So do check this project out. So that's a crypto tip for today, Ether Games. Already told you to invest a couple of months ago. It's doing really good, but it's gonna do even better with all these quests and everything, guys. So check it out, ethergames.io slash quest. Then we go to the question of one of the followers, uh, and this question is asked many times. I'm not going to name the name that asked this question, but the question was, Didi, how many Bitcoins do I need to survive in this life? Do I need one Bitcoin? Do I need two Bitcoin to be able to not work anymore in the future? Do I need 1.5 Bitcoin? Is that enough so that I don't need to work anymore in the future? A lot of people are like, nah, Bitcoin can't go to a million dollars per Bitcoin. I am as like Bitcoin can easily go to a million dollar per Bitcoin in the next couple of bull cycles. Not this bull cycle, but 2030 or 2032 or 2034, one of these bull cycles, we will reach a million dollar per Bitcoin. So that's in the next 10 years, I believe that Bitcoin can go sky high. And those next 10 years are the gold rush in Bitcoin. So I do believe that Bitcoin can go to $1 million, even maybe to $5 million, if we really put a lot of liquidity into this industry. So for me, if somebody holds like 1.5 Bitcoin, he will definitely be a millionaire or a multimillionaire in the future. It all depends on what currency you are expressing your value. Because if you're expressing a value in euros and you stay living in the Netherlands, for example, yes, because of inflation, they will make your life more expensive and expensive and expensive. So what will you be able to be buying with that 1.5 Bitcoin in the future? I don't know. But if the inflation rate keeps continuing like it's now, you won't be buying a lot in the far future. So it's a combination of multiple things. I normally say that if somebody holds like five Bitcoin at the moment, they will definitely not need to work anymore far in the future, guys. Because if Bitcoin goes to a million, five million dollar, living a normal life, with a normal house, and with just normal food, like above average, of course, I think five million dollar will take you very far in this world. But you know, if I need to believe all those other influencers, then Bitcoin can easily go to 10 million dollar. I've seen eight million dollar predictions. That would be one Bitcoin would be 10 million. That would be 1.5 would be 15 million. I don't believe that you need to work anymore than in the far future if you have 1.5 Bitcoin by now. It will take a very long time. So you need to start seeing Bitcoin as your pension fund. It will take another 10 years to reach those million dollar prices per Bitcoin. But at the end, I do believe fully that Bitcoin is going to reach $1 million per Bitcoin. I don't have any doubt in this. I know a lot of people are skeptic or very grounded and they are like, ah, a million dollar, impossible. You know, I started in this industry when Bitcoin was $80. At that time, we believed that $5,000 was impossible. And then when Bitcoin was $2,000 or $3,000, we believed that $10,000 US dollar was impossible. And when Bitcoin was $10,000 US dollar, we thought, nah, $20,000 doubling from here, that's impossible. And when Bitcoin was $20,000, we said, nah, $50,000 US dollar, that's like, that's the limit. That's not possible. And when it was $50,000, we said, okay, 100K, that's not possible. And now we were already at 75K. And it won't take long in this year or the next year that we will go above that 100K. And at that 100K, a lot of people will say, nah, we won't go to 500K or a million. It's impossible. And then when we visit those levels, people say, ah, shit, yeah, it was possible. But more than this, 1 million or 5 million or 10 million, that's definitely not possible. <laughs> that's how it goes every time again and again and again. And in the end, we keep breaking those records with Bitcoin. Why? Because there's a limited amount available. 21 million Bitcoins. All of worldwide liquidity and assets can flow into Bitcoin. If we only break the gold cap, in my opinion, we already would reach $1 million per Bitcoin. If we would go a little bit higher to the real estate cap, we would go way higher than a million dollar of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is bigger, better, and more usable than gold. We are gonna break that gold cap of 14 trillion US dollar. It's times 10 from here. 
So that would bring us already to $700,000 per Bitcoin easily. And I believe way higher than that, guys. So if you hold 1.5 Bitcoin or two Bitcoins or even one Bitcoin in the future, you will be doing good. If you are prepared to buy even more and you hold five Bitcoins, I don't think you ever need to work again. It will become very difficult for people in the future to even own one Bitcoin. If you hold more than that, you will belong to the like five to 10% of the world that has that. I wouldn't worry too much, but I would keep dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, buy a little bit more every time you get the chance. The live advice for today is a very short one, guys, but a very important one. Listen more than you speak. Whenever you speak, you're just repeating what you already know. Oh, every time again, whatever it is that you speak about, about the news that you just read and you're speaking about that, you already know that. If you're speaking about the past, you already know that. If you're speaking about stuff that you just learned, you already know that. The moment you start listening, you might learn something new. So always listen more than you're speaking. And I know this from experience because I speak a lot. I speak a lot. I speak to record videos, I speak to my family, but I listen a lot as well. I listen podcasts, I listen other YouTube videos, I listen to my wife, I listen to my children, I listen to a lot of things. Because I understand that listening is way more important than speaking. With speaking, you're only repeating what you already know. When you listen, you start to learn new things in life. That's how simple it is. When I meet new people and I'm sitting with them and having a drink or food, I always listen to their knowledge because I want to function as a sponge. I want to suck up all that knowledge that is there in the world. And I don't know everything. I learn new things every day. And why? Because I listen. I listen to podcasts. I listen to YouTube. I read books. I listen to other people's opinion. I listen to all your remarks, comments down below my videos. I want to learn new things in life that brings me further and further and further. So in life, it is very important that you listen more than that you speak. I think my wife and your wife will probably agree with me or because wives always say, hey, stop speaking, listen more. Yes, they are right. You need to listen more to educate yourself more. By listening more, instead of speaking, you will be learning more new things. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this short video on this beautiful Monday morning here in Spain, Torre Vieja. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips? And what do you think about that listening part? Let me know down below in this video, guys. And we are going almost 80,000 subscribers. When we reach 80,000 subscribers, again, doing a giveaway, guys. A beautiful giveaway, probably $800 worth of Bitcoin. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to wish you an amazing Monday, an amazing week, and see you tomorrow again in a video on Tuesday morning. Bam.